Yes, SAIP uh, is a U.S. Chamber of Commerce non-profit affiliate organization and we have been in existence since over 20, 25 years now uh, with projects in over 100 countries and almost 1,000 initiatives in uh, various themes. In Pakistan, we started in 2006 and since then we have been engaged with PASHA on uh, various initiatives. This time around we thought why youth is not coming into entrepreneurship career and uh, one of the potential area uh, we found is the IT entrepreneurship area which does not really require a lot of uh, startup capital. Why these young kids, boys and girls do not enter into entrepreneurship uh, career and they search for jobs and jobs are not easy to come by. With this idea we uh, came together and uh, Jahara from Pasha and myself we sat down and we said okay let's go and talk to them and see what their perceptions are, why are they not starting it. So the way we developed this whole initiative is that we would hold discussion sessions in three cities, Karachi, Lahore and Islamabad and we would engage a group of uh, young entrepreneurs, uh, freelance uh, young lads as well as the students, final year students and bring them together and see what their different perceptions are about entrepreneurship career. Uh, the events went very well and we uh, managed to engage over 120 lads into this program, boys and girls. The things that uh, that have come up uh, are pretty interesting, you know, uh, a lot of them uh, require mentorship which is uh, currently not available at this scale, it should be available. Uh, so I think Pasha perhaps needs to do some hard work and find those uh, entrepreneurs who are willing to spend time with these young lads and talk about their specific initiatives. A lot of young uh, boys and girls from universities were unable to ask the right questions. So what I was uh, a little bit surprised is that you know they were coming to these events, they had few ideas but they were not absolutely sure what they should be asking. So I think these mentors should be able to help them ask the right questions, uh, develop their concepts properly. Um, so in, in these three events, uh, very interesting things that we, uh, we, we learned and one of the things was the payment gateway issue, you know, a lot of uh, the mature entrepreneurs talked about it. Um, the issue can be sorted out, uh, I'm sure Pasha and PSCB coming together because Imran Zia from PSCB was with us uh, at the Islamabad event and he also agreed that Pasha and PSCB should write to State Bank of Pakistan and see how this issue can be sorted out and as soon as it is sort sorted out, I'm sure uh, it will benefit not only the IT, IT sector but all the uh, e-commerce uh, sphere will also be benefited out of it. The other thing is uh, which, uh, which students uh, were unaware of is the legal framework, you know how to register a company, how to get an NTN. So one of the things that uh, was discussed is that could Pasha if, uh, if uh, could perhaps develop some kind of an information portal or a knowledge, knowledge management portal with uh, uh, giving details of all these link, links, you know, registration forms and basic uh, basic information about it. The online community need, needs to keep discussing this initiative. This is one thing which is uh, necessary, you know. We have come in and we have, SIP has come in and SIP has helped Pasha to speak to a larger group of people. Pasha would do the, the advocacy a bit. But the discussion should continue, you know, this entrepreneurship arena should really uh, be, you know, extremely uh, vibrant and in, in that's what I personally feel because these techies, these online people, instead of discussing that my cat is sick, they should be discussing, you know, something much more productive on their Facebook and on their Twitters. Key thing is that the university level, uh, they are not prepared to go into entrepreneurship career. You know, uh, that's what we heard from them and you know, they said, you know, we, we are only uh, encouraged to go and search for jobs and there's a peer pressure as well, you know, once you spend a uh, few hundred thousand rupees on your, on your studies, uh, you're out of the university with a degree, you need a job, you need to start make some money. Um, so instead of uh, looking at a much more challenging career opportunity which is entrepreneurship, you end up probably, uh, you know, sacrificing for a much less paying job uh, because jobs are not easy to come by in this depressed economic situation in Pakistan. So, uh, so the families need to come uh, and think about it. The, the universities, the, the, the teachers, 
who are teaching at the university level, they should encourage the students to uh, look into these, these potential opportunities that are there. They should uh, be talking about um, uh, in their own groups, you know, how should they start their own small business. You know, I know that a lot of, lot of Pakistani uh, young students are earning money through uh, online businesses, you know, Elance and all that they are working. So, you know, how can we scale it up? That's the big issue. How can we reach out to a larger group of people? How can we go beyond Karachi, Lahore and Islamabad? Uh, PASHA being uh, an active organization, but it has got its own capacity issue. It's a, it's a, it's a small organization after all. Pakistan Software Export Board, uh, you, but again PSCB has offices or stingers in larger cities. So uh, I think some kind of an online forum is needed to me uh, that could bring in the community from across Pakistan and you know, so that they could discuss, they could share these ideas. 